Hey guys, Wafes here, and welcome to a very fast card review speed thing because I haven't had the time to do it. And apparently the expansion is dropping later tomorrow or two days after. I'm not very sure when, when, when I'll be uploading the video, but let's begin talking about the cards in a very, very quick manner because uh, I don't have time and uh, let's go. So first we will cover the Druid class. Um, it's a 5 mana 2-4 legendary uh, Druid card. Exilate the Fungal Lord. After you play a minion, summon a copy of it. Uh, too costly, stats are sucky, and uh, there are very few things that you want to copy that are useful. Maybe uh, Adult Grizzly might be one of them, but other than that, I don't see it being very helpful. I rate it a 5 out of 10. Next, we have Twig of the World Tree. I already talked about this before in my previous video. I, I didn't uh, consider that it was 10 full mana crystals, uh, so it's kind of like a refresh. If you play it on turn 4 and turn 9, you can get uh, a full 10 crystals to refresh. If that's the case, it might be it might have its uses, so I wouldn't count this out as much, so I would upgrade it to a 7 out of 10. Next, we have Ranching Pass. It's a 4 mana, choose your stuff. I already said this was good. 7 out of 10. Maybe 8 out of 10. Because this card will be good no matter when you play it. Now, 4 mana, 3, 5, Astro Tiger. Death Rattle Summon. Uh, shuffle a copy of this minion into your deck. So, it's somewhat like a Malorn, except it's not legendary and the body is not as big. I feel like Druids can't fatigue anymore. It kind of feels like Druids can never fatigue anymore. And the, the only way for, for them to, uh, to fatigue is to silence this, right? Or keep this on the board. But if you keep this on the board, then he's gonna just keep hitting you in the face for free damage. So, Astro Tiger is pretty good. I would say 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10 if possible. Uh, it's not a beast though, so there won't be any beast synergy there. Not like Druid's Care anyway. Next we have an 8 mana 3 5 Grizzled Guardian. Uh, it's a taunt and. 8 mana 3 5, guys. It's an 8 mana 3 5. It's, uh, it's heavily understated, so the, the, the text has to be good. So let's see. Death Rattle, recruit 2 minions that cost 4 less. 2 minions, I mean, this is kind of like how the gadgets are. Uh, I said things about the gadgets and about future value. Because it's a death, rat, uh, death rattle, it's a future value thing, and future value cards usually don't work out as intended. So I would rate this a 4 out of 10. This is not a very good card. Your stats are terrible, and even if you pull out something good, it's, it's, uh, you might have already died by then. So yeah, bad card. Next we have a 3 mana, 3, 1 death rattle gain, an empty mana crystal. Ramp is always good. So uh, Greedy Sprite would give, uh, give a 7 out of 10. Yeah, still very good. Uh, if you're not playing Jades, you want to play this to get your mana crystal instead. Next, we have Lesser Jasper Spellstone. I think I already uh, talked about this before. It's uh, 8 out of 10 because it's already good even without upgrading. So yeah, good card. 4 mana, 3, 6, I will go armor. Todd can only attack if you're free or want more armor. The thing is, you keep you can get a lot of armor from the Bark Skin and the Oaken Summons, and sometimes you don't even need to do that with your uh, Druid uh, Death Knight. You already have the ability to get free armor, so I guess this is okay, 7 out of 10. Um, even if it cannot attack, a 3-6 body is really, really good, right? It's something like a Tar Creeper with an extra health, so I would give it, yeah, 7 out of 10. Like, yeah, I've, I've, uh, okay, this one, gain 6 armor, recruit a minion that costs 4 or less. This is actually a really, really good card, I give it an 8 out of 10. Bar Skin is okay, it's a very good card in the arena, but constructed, I might not run this card. It really depends, so uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for constructing. Wait, wait, 6, 6, 6 out of 10. Next, we move on to Hunter cards! Hang on. Okay, we move on to Hunter cards. We have 8 mana, 6, 6, Kefrina with the Wisp. I've already said this before. Um, okay, the entire expansion for Hunters kind of feels like they're pushing you towards the uh, the control Hunter range, right? That's why they're giving you a lot of Hunter spells. Well, because of this card right here, 7 mana, 4, 2 weapon. If your deck has no minions, fill your hand with Hunter spells, right? So what kind of Hunter spells are we talking about? We have the Lesser Emerald Spellstone, which upgrades and upgrades and upgrades. Like so. Let me show you guys. So it upgrades into a Greater Emerald Spellstone. No, it comes into an Emerald Spellstone, which summons 3 3 3 wolves. And a Greater Emerald Spellstone will upgrade to 4 3 3 wolves. So it, all of them are really, really good, right? Like, they are, they are your spells that summon all your minions, right? You don't need minions if you have spells that summon minions for you. Something like that, right? So, you play a secret to upgrade it. So, basically, they're just pushing you towards the control hunter kind of thing. So, that's why you have crushing walls, you have to my side, you have a uh, flanking strike, which also gives you walls, uh, and you have your secrets that summon a random tree cost minion for you so that you don't have to play your minions. You have candle shot, which is immune while attacking, which means that if your opponents play those one uh, pesky one drops with one health, you can kill it, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, but candle shot, because it's one attack, it actually can't kill my right? A lot of people play Firefly nowadays, and you can't kill that because it has two health stat line. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this is. Right now, candle shot is like a 5 out of 10. Overall, for control hunters, I would rate control hunters uh, an overall 6 out of 10 because control hunters are kind of weak, I still feel, because you need good early drops. And what are the early drops? A new secret, and a cave hydra, and a candle shot. That's all your early drops. I don't think that's enough for you to survive the early game. Maybe you can still play your Doomsayer, but if you play Doomsayer, then you can't play this card, right? Because sometimes Doomsayer happens to be the last last mid card in your deck and you can't play it. So you can't play you can't even play Doomsayer, you can't play Tar Creeper, you can't play all those things. Are you going to rely on your freezing traps, your explosive tracks, your misdirection, your metal strike track, all this? It might work, but um, if you're gonna play secrets, you still need to play the girl that you know 
makes your secrets cost zero, right? So I'm not so sure, man. I'm not so sure that this will work. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. No, not good enough. Next we have Mage. Mage has uh, a whole bunch of cards that uh, are kind of force, um, try and force a meta out of this. Like they want a new kind of archetype of Mage, which is to make uh, Mages uh, cast as many spells as possible that are really costly, right? The, but the fact remains that the maximum amount of mana you can have as, uh, as a player is 10 mana. So I'm not so sure if things like Deck of Wonders, Dragon's Fury, all these might work, right? Because, uh, okay, there are two archetypes that they're going for. They are, giving, uh, they are going for the Elementals archetype, which uh, is what the spell song is about. Add one random each spell to your hand. If you play two Elementals, to upgrade. Technically, if you play this alone, it's not good enough, definitely, because you can already play the other card. Uh, what, what you might call it, the, the other uh, glyph uh, that, that costs two and it will give you a discover of spell instead of give you a random spell. So this is not good enough alone. You need to upgrade it with your elementals. Um, not so sure if elementals are good uh, so far. People have tried it. Even Pyros is kind of meh. So I don't. I'm not so sure. But let's go 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 through card by card for Mage. Uh, dragon Caller, Alana, nine mana free free. Battle Cry, summon a five five dragon for each spell you cast this game that costs five or more. So what kind of spells that cost five or more? We have Deck of Wonders, we have Dragon's Fury, things like that, right? Deck of Wonders is shuffle five scrolls into your deck when drawn, cast a random spell. Kind of feels like you're just adding more cards to your deck, and sometimes you really don't want to do that. Even as a machine gun mage, I don't think you want to do that, right? Unless you're, you're telling me that you want you are running a lot of card draw, which is possible with Elonef, I guess. But then the thing is, with Elonef, you always risk overdrawing, right? You have only maximum ten mana, and if you're gonna have to spend, uh, only be able to use two five mana cards, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Uh, unless, of course, when you draw the card, the, the random spell casts, then yeah, you, you just. These two cards synergize with one another, but it's just too risky in Constructor. I don't think these are good. Deck of Wonders is actually really good in Arena, but in Constructor, it's just so inconsistent, I don't think you want to play it. Deck of Wonders, I give it a 5 out of 10. Or Constructed. In Arena, it's actually really good. I'll give it 8 out of 10. Uh, Dragon's Fury, reveal a spell from your deck, deal damage equal to its cost to all minions. So basically, it's like a Freeze Mage's wet dream, right? Because, like, for example, even if you draw a, a, a secret, for example, you do free damage throughout the board. It's a Hellfire. 5 mana Hellfire, I guess it's still slightly overcosted, but at least it's, it's something, right? It's still good. If you play a lot of large uh, spells, like your Flame Strike, like your, your, even your Deck of Wonder, for example, deal 5 mana, deal 5 to your entire points with your So I think this is a pretty good spell. I'll give it 6 out of 10. So if you play these spells, you can play Dragon Caller Al Alana. Otherwise, Dra Dragon Caller Alana, I still feel like she's just not good enough. Right? You okay, if you play 7 spells of 5 mana, you get like what? Okay, you can only play 6 spells. She can only summon 6 dragons. So, hmm. Sure, if you play 6 spells, then she's really good, right? But by the time you reach that, do you actually really need the, the 6 dragons? I don't think so. I really don't think so. This is another classic case of a uh, good in concept but really still not good in uh, and practicality. So I'll give her a 5 out of 10. She's playable but just not good enough. Leyline Manipulator, it's a 4 mana 4 5. Battle Cry, if you're holding any cards that didn't start in your deck, reduce their cost by 2. So basically, if you keep generating cards, uh, then that's a, that's a good card. But um, currently, there are only a few things that generate cards, right? Okay, fine. Actually, there are quite a few because if you play Exodia, you know, know what, what cards they are. Uh, it's like the mirror, uh, mirror Image, it's like your Kabbalist Tome, it's like your. Um, Elementals that you know give you your you know, random spells, your paveling book and whatnot, right? So maybe it's possible for you to do that in Exodia, but why would you want to do that in Exodia? That's the question, right? It's an elemental, so you might be able to play this in an elemental deck. But do elemental decks actually discover as uh, generate as many other other cards? It kind of feels like it wants to do everything, but it's just not good enough for anything, right? It's a four mana for five, so it's a guarantee stat, right? So maybe you can play it on its own. <sighs> I mean, okay, if it procs even one card, then it's good. Otherwise, it's just any. So I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Next we have 3 mana, explosive runes. After your opponent plays a minion, deal 6 damage to it and any access to their hero. So there's some kind of trample effect for this one. I think this is strictly a good card. Like, um, sure, um, once secrets are known, people more or less want to play around there. But uh, for this, that's because people want to play around Potion of Polymorph, they play around uh, Mirror Entity a lot. So they usually play small minions, and then they find out it's explosive runes, and they get hurt. And sometimes, they just die, right? So this is just good. strictly a good card. 8 out of 10. Very, very good. Lesser Ruby Spellstone, like I said, you need to play Elementals to upgrade it at least once for it to be good. Otherwise, no, it's not good enough. Generating one card with two mana is too weak. Too weak. Same goes for Raven Familiar. Battle Cry reveal a spell from each deck. If yours costs more, I'll draw it. Sure, it gives you a 2-2 stat line, but uh, in Arena, it's actually good. But in Constructed, no, it's not good enough. Next. Arcane Artificer. Whenever you cast a spell, gain armor equal to its cost. So this is actually a very good uh, control card because uh, if you're a mage and then you can cast your Flame Strike, suddenly you get 7 armor. It's very good, but you need like turn 8 to do that. So it's a delay for one turn. Might it be good enough? I think it might be good enough. Uh, we'll see this in con uh, Constructed Control. But then again, do controls really want armor when they have Ice Block? As long as Ice Block exists, I don't think Arcane, Ar Arcane Artificer will be good enough. So yeah, unless Icebox rotates out of standard, this is going to be a 5 out of 10. 
And I don't know what this shifting scroll is, but apparently each turn this is your in your hands, transform into a random mage spell. I don't know how it is formed, uh, or what, but apparently it's a card. So yeah, I, I, I'm guessing it's a zero mana thing, so it will just keep changing to random spell. Oh, oh I, I don't know why, why there's no mana cost here, but yeah. Is it good enough? Random mage spell transformation? I guess it's pretty good. Actually give it a, an 8 out of 10. Because having your options open, it's always good. It's always good. Even if it's like not discounted, right? I think it's good. It takes up one slot in your hand though. Yeah, it's, it's just good. It's just good. You, you, it can't be bad. It can't be bad. Alright, we're done with Mage. Now we're going to Paladin. It's a set of, we, we'll go with the legendaries first. So 7 mana, 1-1. One, one. What the heck? 7 mana, 1-1. One, one. Um, Lanessa Sansoro, Battle Cry, cast a, each spell. Uh, cast each spell you cast on your minions this game on this one. So basically you want to play Lanessa Sansoro in a deck where you play a lot of uh, buffing effects, right? You know, like uh, you can actually buff things like Hawk, uh, Wisdom, uh, Blessing of Wisdom, you can play your... Uh, do we still have the portal? I think we still have the portals, right? So yeah, we, we can use the Silver Hand portal, we can use the... Uh, Stagodon, right? The, 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 the Spike Ridge Steed. Uh, yeah, those are pretty good. Uh, but even Blessing of Kings is good, right? So yeah, I don't see this being bad in a buff deck. But do we play a lot of buff mechanics nowadays? The answer is no. Because of things like uh, Shadow Word Horror, because of things like uh, Devolve, Buff mechanics are really off the table right now. Like until devolve and all those like uh, crazy removals are off the table, or, or cra crazy change shape shifting mechanics are off the table. Buff mechanics are just not good enough in the current meta. So overall, if we are going to play buff, buff paladin is probably only getting a five out of ten right now. Even with divine shields and whatnot, it's just not good enough because people just get find ways to get around it. They devolve your stuff, they change it so that all your buffs just suddenly disappear. It's just not good enough. Alright, so this card, also just not good enough, right? Polymorph and it's gone. It's a really great bad card. Next, uh, uh, I'll give this 5 out of 10. Next we have 6 mana 4, 2 weapon, Va Balanir. Death Rattle, give a minion on in your hand plus 4 plus 2. When it dies, re-equip this. So the minion in your hand gets a plus 4 plus 2. So you require a minion to be in your hand, which isn't that hard I suppose. And then when the minion dies, you get you just straight away re-equip the weapon. You don't even need to pay 6 mana. I think this is really good. It's like a death spike on steroids. Except that... If you keep using a weapon, you, you die really quickly too. Uh, 7 out of 10. I see its uses. In Arena, this is just insane. Play this in Arena immediately. Uh, but in Constructed, it might need some work. 7 out of 10. Next, we have a 5 mana spell level up. I think I talked about this before. Give your silver hand, recruits, plus 2, plus 2, and taunt. It's something like a, a bone mare, but better, I guess, if you have a lot of silver hand recruits. Which is possible with things like uh, Dry, Dry Gulch Jailer and whatnot. You get a lot of uh, dudes. So with a lot of dudes comes uh, with great dudes come great responsibilities. That's what I say. So um, I think Blizzard just wants people to play more dudes. And even when dudes are free free with taunts, are they good enough? Like I said, right? Buff mechanics are so easily circumvented. So I think no. In arena it's really good. But other than that, just you know, don't play dudes. Dudes are bad. Dudes are just bad. They've been trying since I don't know Algoro, I guess, and it hasn't worked. No, it's just it's not good enough. No. <coughs> uh, no. I'm choking here. Okay, so it's a four. <coughs> Level up is 6 out of 10. Uh, call to arms, 4 mana spell, recruit 3 minions that cost 2 or less. This is good. This is a good card. Right? Even in Arena or Constructed, this is a good card. Uh, you, I, I would expect this to be better in Arena than in Constructed. But in Constructed, if you want to play a lot of low cost but effective minions, this is a, this is a card to play. Not the, not the small time recruits nonsense. This is the card. This is better than small time recruits. Definitely. 8 out of 10. Next we have 6 mana, 5-5, five, five, Crystal Lion. Divine Shield costs 1 less for each dude <coughs> you control. So like I said, they, they want you to play dudes. Sure, I guess if you play this and you get 3, three dudes, you reduce this cost by 3 and you can play 3 dudes at the same time. I guess that's fine. It gives you tempo on an, in an arena game, but uh, in Constructed, you just don't want to play a 6 mana, 5-5. Right? Yeah. Like, if you press your hero power, this reduces by 1, but you already paid 2. That's not good enough. <laughs> that's so bad. So no. But I Unidentified Maul though, I think Unidentified Maul is actually one of the best weapons in the game in the expansion because it has so many good effects, there are no, no bad effects, right? Uh, if it's a Purifier's Maul, you give your minions Divine Shield, so you play your dudes and they all have Divine Shield, it's good. If you play your dudes and give all your dudes taunt, it's also good. If you play your dudes and you can summon more dudes, that's also good. If you play Blessed Maul and you give your dudes plus one attack, I guess it's fine too, right? Um, in Arena, it's really good. Play this in Arena, 10 out of 10. Play this in Arena. Uh, constructed. Yeah, I guess so. 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 even. Yeah, good card, good card. Even when, you know, people can circumvent it, at least you still have a 2-2 weapon to whack people with. So it's not that bad. Next we have a 2 mana Lesser Pearl Spellstone. So let's take a look at what it upgrades to, right? So currently it's a 2 mana 7-2-2 two, two, Spirit with Taunt. A 2-2 two, two, two mana 2-2 two, two with Taunt? 
it's already it's already a neutral card, right? So if you upgrade with restoring tree health, you get a four four, and then if you upgrade again, it becomes a six six. I think a four four is a two mana four four is really really good, and it's not that difficult to even get a two mana six six. So yeah, I think it's an eight out of ten. Three mana two four benevolent Digit. At the end of the turn, restore tree health to the zero. This works with this, right? These two work in tandem, and if both of them are uh, here, you are you are set. You are set. Uh, the only thing is that this might die really quickly. Because, uh, sure, this this can work with the Drakari uh, Enforcer, right? Which allows you to heal for six each turn. But then uh, after experimenting a lot with the Drakari Enforcer, I kind of feel like the end of turn effects are, are a hit hit or miss kind of effect. So sometimes if you don't have the card or you don't have the Drakari Enforcer, then you kind of like eh. But yeah. So hit or miss means 50-50, right? So 5 out of 10. Actually no, sorry sorry, I, I stand corrected. This is good even without Dracarian Forcer. So it's actually just hit. Uh hit more of most of the time. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Because no matter what, uh if you have taken damage, this is good for you no matter what. So yeah, 7 out of 10, good card. 2 mana, 1, 1 Drago Shader, I already talked about this. This is a good card. Uh in Arena you definitely want to play this. In Constructor, maybe, I guess, maybe. So 7 out of 10. 2 mana, Potion of Heroism. Give a minion Divine Shield draw a card. Uh, I, it's like Blessing of Wisdom and uh, and just the Hand of Protection combined into one card, right? I think it's good, because I don't see anything that, that can go wrong with this. Obviously you'll need a minion, right? You can even do a minion and then reporting for duty. Draw a card. I think that's fine. It gives you card draw. Card draws can never be bad. And this is an under cost of card draw. I think it's good. Alright, uh, 8 out of 10. A hey, priests. This is okay. So a lot of people say that this is a bad card. I don't think it is as bad as people think, right? Okay. So why why do I say that? If if you are playing against a zoo or something that is tempo and you play Temporus, you're gonna lose, right? Because they, they're gonna hit your face and then they have another turn to hit your face again. That is really really bad. But if your opponent is the control kind, like for example, you're facing a control priest or some control warrior shenanigans, right? Uh, then they don't even play minions. So if they don't play minions, then and, and it, all, all the cards are reactive, right? So you give them all the proactiveness they want in the world, and they still can't kill you in two turns. And that's when you kill him in two turns, right? Um, yeah, so it's still a hit or miss, but most of the time, it's miss. So I would say it is a 4 out of 10. It is not as bad as people think. It's not a 0 out of 10, definitely. In Dragon Dex, I can see this working as well. It's not as bad as people think it is. Yeah, giving your opponent two turns when they don't have minions on the board is perfect, right? But if you give your opponent two turns and they already have tons of minions on the board, then you're gonna lose. Simple as that. Or if your opponent is an Exodia Mage, then you lose, right? Other than that, you're, you're, you're golden. So if it's a control meta, which probably should not be, you can play the first. So it's not as bad as people think. Next, we have a 3 mana 0 3. We talked about this Dragon Soul. You really don't need to play this card. You just wanna you go with the flow as it if you're a dragon priest, you wanna go with the flow, just keep going, tempo based, chong the face, play bigger and bigger minions until they can't handle it. With Dragon Soul, you are do, trying to do spell based stuff while being a dragon at the same dragon priest at the same time. That's not gonna work. I don't think this is good. Five out of ten. Next we have Psychic Scream. This is actually one of the best cards I've seen for priests so far. Shuffle all minions into your opponent's deck. Why is this good? Even if you shuffle your minions into their deck. You decide when you do it, right? So you can kill off your minions first, and then you can shuffle your opponent's bigger minions into their deck. Um, sometimes your minions are really crappy, and you can you just want to put it into your deck, right? Um, things people like uh, the decks that like to draw a lot of cards, they'll suddenly find themselves uh, not drawing the combo pieces because you shuffled some crappy stuff into your deck to their deck that they probably won't be able to use correctly. Things like uh, you know North Shire Cleric, <laughs> for example, they're not going to be able to use it correctly. So they'll be like, oh shit, why did I draw this stupid card? And then you'll be like, ha 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 ha! I think this is really, really good. That at 7 mana, you clear the board, and your opponent's deck gets uh, screwed up. That's a win. That's a win. Play this card. So good. It's a 7 out of 10. Next, we have a 3 mana, 2, 4, Twilight, Aekali. Battle Cry, if you're holding a dragon, swap this minion's attack with another minion. So, even if you don't swap the stat line, this stat line is good enough. But if you swap, it becomes, you can swap uh, your opponent's minions. So, if your opponent plays a big minion, like a 12 12 for example, and you swap it, it, it turns into 2 12, and you'll be like, I have a 12 4 minion? That is insane. That is insane. So good. So good. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. A very good card for Dragon Priests. Dragon Priests are coming back, guys. Next, we have a 7 mana Lesser Diamond Spellstone. Let's resurrect 2 friendly minions. Wait, it's Lesser version already only, uh, already resurrects 2. I guess 7 mana for resurrect 2 might not be good enough. Because you can do that for 5 mana. 
with Kazakas, right? So maybe it's not that good. But if you upgrade it with four spells. Didn't want to interrupt with the sub, but it's taking too long. <laughs> L U L. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Granite. Thank you so much. Yeah, you. you he, how dare you? I'm having just kidding. Thank you. I had to drink water anyway. So, yeah. If you play four spells and then you resurrect free, I think that that's better because to resurrect free you need ten mana for Kazaka's potion. Yeah, you need to at least upgrade it once for it to be worth. But playing four spells as a priest is not going to be that difficult if you're a Highlander, right? Do Highlanders want to even play this card? I kind of feel like Highlanders don't even want to play this card. So maybe this card is just just us. Something that takes up space. I don't know. I don't think this is good in any constructor that so far. Feel free to prove me wrong. Uh, 5 out of 10. Next, we have a. F uh, this one, I already talked about this. It's a 5 out of 10 because it's neither here nor there. You're trying to control. Uh, you want to try to tempo, but then you're destroying everything in your way. I don't think it's good. I mean, if you're playing so called control dragon priest, that's too greedy. I think that's too greedy. So yeah, not, not good enough. 5 out of 10. Next, we have Twilight's Call. It's a free mana spell. Summon 1 1 copies of two friendly death rattle minions that die this game. So something to help the death rattle priests. Going right, so, so Death Rattle Priest, while still okay, haven't been very strong, and now we can play our quest again, and maybe we can, you know, get our 40 health priest back because right now uh, 30 health, uh, 35 health priest is a thing, and people don't really like it. Next, we have a free mana unidentified elixir. I already said this was a good card, it's an 8 out of 10. Every single effect is good, so there's no bad effect. I think this is just good. 8 out of 10. Next, we have a free mana 2 2 Gilded Gargoyle. Death Rattle, add a coin to your hand. A, a decent free mana for. Miracle Priest, I guess. Otherwise, I'm not sure why you would play this card. Maybe Death Rattle Priest. Yeah, Death Rattle Priest. You might want to play this card. There are better alternatives out there. Though. I would believe so. So, 6 out of 10? 7 out of 10 for Death Rattle Priest. 1 mana, Psionic Probe. Copy a spell in your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. So it's a small thought steal. Oh no, it's spell! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, if it's a spell, it's really good. Yeah, okay, this suddenly becomes a really, really good card. So yeah, um, 8 out of 10, because you're copying a spell, not a card, a spell. And in Constructed, you always get good spells. In Arena, you always get good spells. No matter what, spells are just good. Spells are just good. This is good. This is OP. Unless you get Deadly Poison, of course. But then, what are the chances of people actually playing Deadly Poison nowadays? Probably zero. Next, we have Rogues. Okay, Quest Rogues are back in the meta. Quest Rogues are just so good. Um, we have uh, Sonya Shadow Dancer. And it's a 3 mana card, 3 mana 2 2. 3 mana, take note, it's 3 mana. So after a friendly minion dies, add a 1 1 copy of it to your hand and it costs 1. So for example, you play Firefly, or you play your uh, Flame Elementals, for example, and then it dies, you add 1 1 copies to your hand, and then they cost 1 as well. So you, how many Flame Elementals do you need to play in order for your quest to activate? Last time it was 4, right? Now it's 5, but with Sonya, you can play as many Flame Elementals as you want, and then your quest is activated. Once your quest activates, everything is a. Uh, free and easy, right? Go face, go face, go face, go face and you win. So I believe Quest Rogues might come back into the meta because of this card. Just so good, just so good. I give it a 7 out of 10. No, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Really good. King's Bane, 1 mana, 1 free. Death Rattle, shuffle, shuffle this into your deck, it keeps any enchantments. Maybe that Deadly Poison might come back. Maybe uh, life, uh, life Steal Poison might come back, uh, might come in. Uh, yeah, maybe Venomous Poison might come back. And, and Venom Weapon, yeah, that one might come back. Make it really good. Yeah. Probably. Ah. Okay, this card is pretty good. But why would you... Okay, this card... I can see this card working. Yeah, this card is a 7 out of 10. Good card. Next, we have a 4 mana 4 4 Feldore Strider. Battle Cry Shuffle 3 ambushes into your deck when drawn summon a 4 4 Spider. So you're ambushing yourself. Is that good? I mean, if, you, if you're the kind of uh, rogue that keeps drawing, then this might make sense. Otherwise, it's still very awkward. You're, you're, you're kind of making yourself uh, not draw the important combo pieces if you're a combo rogue. But if you're, if you're playing mil uh, Miracle Rogue, probably. Okay, I, I think this might work. 6 out of 10. 2 mana evasion. After hero takes damage, become immune this turn. Um, is that good enough? I guess it's good, but it's not, that, it's not good enough. It's just good. 5, five out of 10. There's like, uh, people are going to be able to play a player on this card, right? They just use their biggest minion to hit you first. And then even if, you, if they can't hit you this turn, they're probably going to be able to hit you the next. So yeah. 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 Not good enough. 5 out of 10. That's the Onyx Spellstone. It's a 5 mana, will destroy one and random enemy minion. 5 mana assassinate for random assassin. 5 mana deadly shot, not good enough. Play the 3 death rattle cards to make 2. I guess that's okay. Play another 3 death rattles to destroy 3. I mean, if you're playing a death rattle rogue, it might work. But death rattle rogues are actually not a thing, right? They're just not a thing. It might work, I guess. 7 out of 10. 
yeah, well, Cobalt Illusion is uh, it's uh, it's good for Deferro. It's it, it is good for Deferro. Um, I'm not sure if you want to play the Zoff on uh, Deferro Rogue though. Probably you will. Okay, six out of ten. Deferro Rogues. I'm not sold yet. Six out of ten. Four mana Elven a Minstrel. Four mana three two. Combo. Draw two minions from your deck. Drawing minions from your deck. Even as a miracle, you might want to do that, right? Do you want minions? Yeah. If you're looking for your gadgets and option, you so yeah, I guess so. Seven out of ten. Two mana cheat death. I already said this is a good card. Uh, seven out of ten. Silent betrayal. Five out of ten. Not good enough. Kevin's shiny finder. Two mana free one. Battle cry. Draw a weapon from your deck. This is uh, tutor card. Tutor cards are always good. Eight out of ten. Next, shaman. Bad card. Rune spear. Bad card. Five out of ten. Grumble world shaker. Six mana. Seven seven. Battle cry. Return your other minions to your hand. They cost one. Anti tempo. Bad card. Even if they they, they actually have good, good battle cries, this is just too much. Too much. Not good enough. Six out of ten. Five mana, five five. Wind shear, storm caller. If you control all four basic totems, summon Alakir the Windmorn. So you have a five five and Alakir. This doesn't transform to Alakir. You summon Alakir. So okay, imagine your board like this, right? You already have four basic totems. You play this card. This is a fifth minion. Alakir is your sixth minion. So you only have one spot, one more spot for another minion. Something tells me this is not good enough, right? Having four totems and one minion on the board is not good enough. You're gonna, you're gonna have already lost a lot of tempo. Yeah, this requirement here is... I mean, summoning an allocate is very good, right? But the requirement is just too much. 5 out of 10, not good enough. 1 mana, unstable at evolution. This, no, this is a good card. 8 out of 10. You can choose when to stop. It's not like Defile. You can choose when to stop. So, it, it can basically one dollar tree try your evolution. You can, um, and, and then if you hit something, like for example, you, you reach something that you like, you can do it to another minion of your choice. How insane is that? This is even better than the uh, Shaman Death Knight Hero Power. This is just so good. So good. Sure, the card disappears after the, the turn, but still, it's just so good. So good. I'm upgrading it to 9 out of 10. This is just insane. Good card. Really, really good. Next, Lesser Surprise Spellstone. I already talked about this. No matter what, Overload mechanics are always going to be in Shamans, and you're definitely going to upgrade the card. 7 mana might be a little bit too costly, but summoning copies of your friendly minions to evolve is just good. It's just good. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, just for the mana cost alone. Otherwise, uh, if it's lower, if it's 5 mana, for example, I'll give it I'll give it a 7 out of 10. 3 mana Primal Talismans. Give your minions summon a random basic totem. Okay, so this might make Windshear Storm Call a little bit better, but not by much, right? You want to combo this into that. I think that's a lot of work, and you don't want to, you don't want to do a lot of work. Yeah, it's, it, that's, it's just too cute. It's just too cute. Too many criteria need to be met, and that's not good. When you, whenever you have multiple criteria, it, it makes it a bad card. A card is good when you can play it anytime you want. So yeah, Primal Talismans, on its own, I guess it's okay, but uh, I don't know man, like sure you can evolve it, but okay, see, you're playing Evolve Shaman, you don't want to create, uh, give your minions death rattle anymore, it's, that's, this is so lame, I mean sure, if you're afraid that your opponents are going to uh, clear your board that, before you evolve, but you don't do that right, you play your minions, you evolve them immediately, so I don't know why it's gonna work, it's not gonna work, Primal Talismans is just eh, 3 out of 10, not so good, in Arena, it's 5 out of 10, it's a little bit better. Next we have a 2 mana 1-1 one, one elemental, Murmuring Elemental. Battle cry, your next your next battle cry this turn triggers twice. So basically your uh I, I forgot his name. Uh, your brand bronze beard, but uh in elemental form. For one battle cry. Huh. Unless it's a fire elemental or a blaze caller. I don't think this is I don't see this working out. Like even if it's wind shear song caller, that would be not possible. That won't be possible. You will still only summon one elemental here. Because you have four totems. One windshield cost on color, one murmuring elemental, and then one alakir. There's no more space for the eight alakir, the second alakir, I mean. That's the eighth minion already. It's not possible. So this is not even good. So yeah, uh, unless it's unless it's fire fire uh, flame fire elemental. Yeah, it's not good. Next, free mana healing rate. Restore 12 health divided randomly among all friendly characters. Arena is 10 out of 10. In constructed, I give it a 7. Yeah. Next we have two mana one one cobalt turret. Battle cry, choose a basic totem, summon it. At least you get to choose the totem, so this might be good. 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 6, 6 out of 10. You can choose your totem, so sometimes you just want a good totem. Uh, like, you, you just want a spell power totem, then you can do that. I think that's really good, it's really good. Yeah, 7, 7, 7 out of 10, not 6. 2 mana crushing hand, deal 8 damage to a minion, overload 3. It's storm crack, I guess? It's a better storm crack? Mm, sure. You skip your turn 3 though. Your turn 4 had better be good if you do that. So yeah. Warlock, uh, I already said this, this is 0 out of 10, no, not playable. Skull of Manari though, it's a 5 mana 0 free, at the start of your turn, summon a demon from your hand. This is actually pretty good, I guess, if you're playing demon lock, you might want to play this card. And there are a whole bunch of good demons that, that we see, right? We have a uh, Hooked Reaver, Battle Cry if you have 15 or less health, gain plus 3 plus 3 and taunt, which is pretty good, but it has a Battle Cry, so maybe not. But Void Lord, however, 
if you pull out a white light from it turns 6, this is insane. So maybe it's good? Uh, boy lord, my mana free knight, you don't want to play this, you want to pull it out, right? But even if you play this, the stat line justifies it. It's a 6, 6 18. A 6 18. 9, 6, 9 mana 6 18 is justified, I guess. <sighs> okay. 10. 7, 7 out of 10. This one, also 7. Cataclysm, destroy all minions, discard your hand. Don't play this card in the arena, you're, you're gonna suffer. Uh, in constructed, in constructed. No, 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 don't play, sorry, sorry. Don't play this in constructed. Play this in arena. If your cards are bad, you can just discard it. Yeah, yeah. Play, uh, play this card in arena. It's a really good card in arena. Next we have a 5 mana 2 2, possess lackey, death rattle, recruit a demon, another one that can pull out Void Lord. Or even Doomsayer, I mean Doom Guard and all, all the shenanigans. I think War Demon Warlocks are going to be really, really good in this meta. Yeah, really, really good. All of these cards are good. I mean, Rin is really bad, but just play your demons. Just play your demons and you'll be fine, right? They, we already have uh, Despacito D&D, &D, right? And it's really, really good. That, uh, that card is really, really good. So, yeah, Despacito D&D is good. Uh, yeah, so 8 out of 10. Even the stand line 2-2, doesn't matter. Just pull out your big big demons. Even your small demons are good. Like Bugger Homunculus, right? Uh, our, our Tyler one right here. 2 mana 2, 4. Taunt, Valkyrie, deal 2, damage to your hero. So basically, if you pull out that, you don't even take 2 damage, right? And I think that's good enough. A 2-4, Taunt is really good. No, there's no other way around it. And then we have Lesser Amethyst also, which gives you life steal, deal 3 damage to your hero. So technically, the, the, the death knight hero card. But if you take damage from your Bugger Homunculus or your Cobalt Librarian, and then you will upgrade into a 6, man, a six uh, damage to 9 damage. Uh, 9 damage is just so good. So, so good. So yeah, if, if you need life steal, this is where you get your life back because you're dealing a lot of damage to your, to your own face, right? So yeah, sure, good card. Uh, 7 out of 10 depends on how you, how you want to use it. 4 mana, 4-4, four, four. this one... Okay, this has a criteria. Criteria cards cannot be played constructed, so 5 out of 10. In arena, sure, just play it, why not, right? You might... You usually end up with less than 15 health in arena. So yeah, you can play that card. So Falcon Homunculus is 9 out of 10, Cobalt Librarian is also another 9 out of 10. So Warlocks are making a comeback, I like it, I like it a lot. And we have Dark Pact for you to restore health to your hero. I think it's just really good, no matter how you look at it. Right? Even if you destroy your friendly minion, the 1 mana heal 8 is just insane. Uh, yeah, War Warlocks are going to be really good in this battle. Next, we have Warrior, it's Geo Sculptor Yip. Too cute, 5 out of 10. And you know, return summon a random minion with cost equals to your armor. Too cute, right. They're, they're, okay, in this expansion, warriors are trying to push into the armor archetype, but you just keep getting armor and then utilizing armor in unique ways. And this is one of the unique ways of gaining armor, I guess, or using armor. Uh, I don't like it. This legendary, especially, 5 out of 10. It's just too cute, right? People might not have ways to deal with you having a lot of armor, but always summoning 10 mana minions every turn, it might not work to your benefit. And it might already be too costly, right? If you're playing at a control warrior with lots of armor, Technically, you don't even need to play minions, right? You don't need to. What's the point of playing minions? Nah, it's not good enough. Uh, 5 out of 10. 8 mana, 3 free wall cleaver. After your hero attacks, recruit a minion. Okay, this is good. Right? But this is good as in some kind of taunt warrior or tempo warrior. Not, uh, not control warrior. Control warriors never want to play this card, right? 8 mana, 3 free is just too weak. But as a tempo warrior, I think it's really, really good. Especially taunt warrior. So good. You recruit a minion, and then your quest activates, and then you get a giant taunt on the board. That's just nutballs. That's just nutballs. This is there's no way this card is bad in taunt warrior. So I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. It's a really good card. Next we have a 3 mana reckless fury. Uh, reckless flurry. Spend all your armor, deal that much damage to all minions. Um This is a mid-mid game card. If you're doing this in a uh, late game, it's not really so yeah, if it's late game, you want to keep your armor. You can't play this card anymore. It's kind of sad, but oh well. That, that it is what it is. So it is situational, I guess. Um, in arena, you, you can draft this card, but in constructed, you might not even want to play this card in your deck. Brawl is strictly better. Next, we have two mana zero two blade of gauntlet. Has attack equal to your armor, can't attack heroes. It only has two durability though. Is it good? I mean, if you have a lot of armor, you, you, you're not afraid of attacking with your, your your face, right? So yeah, I guess this could be pretty good. In Control Warrior, yes. Very, very good. Yes, Control Warrior will, will love this card. I will give it 8 out of 10 for Control Warrior. That's a Mithril Spellstone, it's 4 out of 10. It's not playable. It's just not playable. No matter how many weapons you have, it's not playable. Next, 6, ma six mana, gather your party. This is also not playable. 2 out of 10. It is really, really bad, bad card. Even if you play only big minions, not good enough. 3 mana, 4 for Cobalt Barbarian, and the start of your turn, attack a random enemy. Uh, it might be okay with Arena, because you can randomly hit face. But other than that, don't play this in Constructed, please. Do not. 5 out of 10. 6 mana, Unidentified Shield, so let's take a look at the shield real quick. Sure, it gains 5 armor, plus a bonus effect. 
Tower Shield gives you another 10 armor. Serrated Shield deals 5 damage. Sure, I guess it's fine. 6 mana deal 5 damage. 6 mana gain 5 armor and summon a 5 5 gold. Something like Moonlight Portal, I guess. Uh, 6 mana gain 5 armor, you equip them. Okay, this is just this is the best iteration. Everything else is A. Yeah. Okay, the, for this uh, iteration, I would say some of the options are bad for the archetype you're playing. And it's 6 mana, so it's really expensive. Yeah, this is one of the unidentified versions that are not, not, not good enough. Yeah, I would say 5 out of 10. Next, we have 6 mana st gem studded gold. Uh, it's a 5-9 five, five, taunt. Can only attack if you have 5 or more armor. I mean, if you are playing Control Warrior, why do you need a lot? Uh, why do you need a minion that can attack? You don't need that. Even if it doesn't attack, it's a 6-9. That's fine. That is actually very fine. And you can always gain armor on your turn so that you can attack. Huh, okay. I can see this working. 8 out of 10. Keep going. Even if you don't really need to play minions uh, in a Control Warrior, in the event, if you do, it's a pretty good card. It helps you stall a lot, a lot. Nine health is a lot. Two mana, Dry Whisker Armor. It's a uh, battle cry for each mi enemy minion gain two armor. I guess it's a, another stall card for Control Warriors. It's a good stall card, by the way. It's like a cult of a pocket fairy, but for armor. I think it's really, really good. Yeah, another another seven out of ten. In uh, in arena, it's just ten out of ten. Right? It's just good. Alright, so I will be touching on the neutral cards. Okay, I only touch the, the important ones, alright? Like, for example, we've already seen Marin, so we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, Master Oak Heart has its users, but I think it's also too cute for Constructed, so I'll give it a 5 out of 10. King Talk Waggle is just a no-go, I give it a 0 out of 10. No, you don't even want to play this in Arena. <laughs> Next, we have a 4 mana 20 20, starts Dormant. Dormant meaning it's like the Sheraton Seed, right? You cannot do anything to it, you cannot silence it. So, you Purified Priests, I'm sorry, you cannot silence it. You have to wait for your opponents to, sh to uh, get a candle. Um, I can see this working, especially against uh, decks that like to draw a lot. So yeah, this might be actually really really powerful. I would rate it 8 out of 10 for now. It might even go up to 9. It's that good. Yeah, 4 mana 2020, Dormant. It's even better than Spell. Dormant. I don't see this card being bad at all, no matter what, how I see it. Like, it dies to uh, the snail, right? But it doesn't matter. This is so good. This is so good. You can uh, sure you can't decide when uh, it will come out because it's your opponent drawing a card and they can deal with it, right? They can try, I guess, they can try. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they technically can't control when they draw the candle anyway. So yeah, um, good card. You know the candle. Okay, I've already talked about Gorgon. She's a good card. Just it's, She's just good. It's not because of the golden, it's just a better brewmaster. Dragon Hatcher, uh, it's just too cute. I think it's just too cute. Even with Master O card, it's just too cute a card. Um, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. 9 mana 2 4. No, no, no. <clears throat> Dragons rely on their battle cry. And when you recruit a dragon, they don't battle cry. Right? Unless you talk about Ysera or Nosdorm or Maligos. Otherwise, all of the other dragons rely on their battle cry, and this is just not good enough. Next, we have an 8 mana 4 7 Grand Archivist. At the end of a spell, cast a spell from your deck, target chosen randomly. Don't play this in mage, you, you might bless your own face. Uh, don't pay, play this, period, or, or, or construct it. Maybe in Arena you might want to try it. Depends on what you what you draft. 7 mana 5 5 Corner Creeper, cost 1 less whenever a minion dies in your hand. I will give it a. I'll give it a 2 out of 10. Right? It has to be in your hand in order to cost less. And sometimes when you draw a 7 mana 5 5 and when you're looking for answers, this is not the answer you're looking for. 2 out of 10, even in Arena. <coughs> you don't want to play this in Zoo either. Bad card. 6 mana 4 4 Spiceful Summoner, I already talked about this. Um, you don't play the spell, you tell your opponents what spells you're running. And, uh, yeah, your minion might not even be good. Yeah, 5 out of 10. Carnivorous Cube, meme card, uh, ink, ink, ink activator, death rattle, trigger, other than that, nothing else. 5 out of 10. Uh, Arcane Tyrant, zero, 0 mana 4 4 if you cast, cost, uh, cast a spell that costs 5 or more this turn. 0 mana 4 4 is like, eh, if you already cast a spell, you're probably just gaining a little bit more tempo than, or, than what you've done. So yeah, I don't think this is good as well. 5 out of 10. Shimmering Corsair, you can. Only you can target this with spells at zero powers. It's a unique card, so that's a plus. 7 out of 10. 3 mana, 3 free, stat line is fine. Stop the attack and help of all other minions. This is useful if you have someone champion on the board. Otherwise, there's no need to play this card. Yeah. Do you? Even with Demon Warlock, when you recruit this... Yeah, you, you don't need to play this card. I mean, in Arena it's fine, but in Constructed now. 
Unless you're playing against Shaman's Full of Totems, that is worse. Otherwise, yeah, that's one out of nine classes. No, not good enough. Ravaging Cobalt. Uh, free mana 1, free return. I already said this is actually pretty good if you get your good weapons, and it's very, very good again with your Pirate Warrior. So yeah, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, 6 mana, 4, 10, Hungry, and Sin. Taunt, Battle Cry, Summon in random 2 cost minion for your opponent. 6 mana, 4, 10, and you summon in 2 cost minion for your opponent. Unless it's a Doomsayer, everything else is fine. Play this card in Arena. In Constructed, this is not good. 5 mana, 1, 1. Uh, transform a friendly minion into 6 elemental. There are no synergies in ele with elementals on the board. So I don't know why they did this. Maybe in the future, but right now, onboard elemental synergy is a zero. I, I don't I don't recall a single card that has onboard uh, elemental synergy. So yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Arena card, four mana, three four. Evan Dragonsmith. Battle cry. Reduce the cost of random weapon in your hand by two. Are there any other classes that play dragons other than priests? And even priests don't want to play this card because the weapon is already three mana. So um, I'm not so sure, man. Yes. Um, hang on. Okay, uh, what else? Arena card, probably. I don't see any other dragon decks working. 4 mana, 3, 6, Cobalt Monk. I think this is a filler card. It's good, but it's, it's a good filler card. It's still filler. 6, 6 out of 10. It, there, there are no other synergies, it's just, a, it's, it's just there. 3 mana, 2, 4, low champion. If you control no other minions, gain Taught and Divine Shield. Nine, uh, 8 out of 10 card. Uh, it's playable in many, many situations. 3 mana 1, 2, 3 King Shroom. At the end of the turn, summon a random 1 cost minion. Token Shamans, Token Druids, they love this card. I will give it 8 out of 10 as well. I think it's really good. Next we have Scorpomatic. 2 mana 1, 2 Mech. Wow, Mech. <laughs> I haven't seen Mechs in a long while. Uh, Battle Cry, uh, destroy a minion with 1 or less attack. So it kind of kills away your tubes here. Right? So if you want to play aggro, you might want to just uh, drop one of these Scorpomatics in your deck in order to get rid of the two Sayers and whatnot. Pretty good. And even if you have people are playing Fireflies, this also just removes one of them before they, they become trouble. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good card as well. 7 out of 10. 1 mana, 2 free, summon a random 1 cost mini for your opponent. Uh, uh, this, this is like your zombie child. Um, a, a, a lousy zombie child. Not bigger. 5 out of 10. 1, one mana, 1 1. 5 out of 10. 9 mana, 4, 12. Taunt. 5 out of 10. 8 mana, 7-7, seven, seven, Death Rail, 7-7, seven, seven, Grubs, Arena card. 7 mana, 3-3, free, free, Recruit at 8 cost minion, Arena card. 5 mana, 2-4, Recruit a minion at cost 4 or less, possibly playable and constructed. 5 out of 10. Fungal Mancer, 5 mana, 2-2, two, two. Ad Give Adjacent, oh, Arena card. Green Jelly, 5 mana, 3-3, three, three, at the end of the turn, summon 1-2, Who's with Taunt. Arena card. 5 mana, 1-5, Taunt, Poisonous, Arena card. 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, Destroy your opponent's weapon. Possible since everybody has a weapon now. 5 mana, uh, 5 mana, 4, uh, 4 mana, 5 1, Curse Disciple, Death Rattle, Summon the 5 1, Revenant, Death Rattle, Death Rattle, Dex, possibly. Possibly. But 1 health, man, 1 health. Nah, 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 arena card, arena card, arena card. Uh, 4 mana, 4, 6, arena card. Uh, 4 mana, 4, 4, Restore 4 health, arena card. 4 mana, 2, 2, Stealth, your other minions have 1 attack. Demon Warlock, uh, 7 out of 10. 3 mana, 2, 3, 2, Battle Cry, give your other minions plus 1 health, arena card. 3 mana, 3, uh, three mana one, 1 Stone Skin Basilisk, Divine Shield Poisonous, Hunter, Control Hunters, 8 out of 10. 3 mana 1 1, Summon a 2 3 Giant Red, Arena card. 3 mana 2 1, Cobalt Apprentice, Battle Cry, deal 3 damage, randomly split among all enemies. Some kind of better Mad Bomber, anti aggro, but Arena card. 3 mana 4 3, Battle Cry, deal 6 damage to a Dragon, Arena card. 3 mana <laughs> 0 4, 2 free chests, at the start of your turn, set this minion's attack to 4, Arena card. 3 mana 3 3, Fungal Enchanter, uh, restore 2 health to all friendly characters. Meta Najatar, possible constructed, 6 out of 10. 2, two mana, 2, 3, plated beetle, death rattle, 7, gain 3 armor. Death rattle, death rattle decks possible, 7 out of 10. 1 mana, 0, 2, taunt, divine shield, arena card. 1 mana, 1, 3, beast, arena card. So yeah, that's all of the cards we have for today. Oh my god, I actually rushed through the end. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. Holy shit, man. That was a lot of shit. Um, yeah, so I think I went through all the cards. Let me know your thoughts. In the comments down below. Hopefully, I got things going. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.